what they did was they took and they they transplanted these stem cells they're called interstitial cells of cassie which are turn out to be a kind of how muscles are formed and how uh, uh, they found out that if they if they can transplant those which are basically stem cells into the stomach muscle the the function will return so yeah and that that seems to work really well if you're interested that at wake forest school of medicine and uh it was uh it was published in stem cells translational medicine uh and that's a dr prabash and a dr Bitar. but what we're 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 we where we are with stem cells okay now remember there's two real sciences going on there's the science that we all that you know doctors and scientists read about and then there's the science that they know because they have they they they, they, they their, their technology everything they are way ahead of us in multiple things and they have all these other things but anyway the science that we know you um, we know that a stem cell can become anything which is why if you have a chronically fermenting population of cells it's very uh risky to just get stem cells especially embryonic stem cells um and uh, which most people wouldn't do just out of uh, a morality issue except you know what they do the um you know there's the, the way around that is when they we talk about fertility clinics which are kind of weird but in fertility clinics they maybe produce they stimulate uh they, they overstimulate hormones uh and and the woman produces all kinds of eggs and, and they mix it with sperm and they come up with like multiple different embryonic embryos and then and then they pick one and then implant it and so the other ones they they just throw away very very weird but that's what happens anyway embryonic stem cells are not to be used because they can't become anything and they will become cancer all chameleons the stem will become where you put it you put stem cells in the heart and it's in the environment of the heart it becomes a heart you put it in the liver it becomes a liver you put it in the kidney you put it in the stomach it becomes a stomach that's the way stem cells work. So they have, uh, so one of the ways they, they do it, for example, I remember uh, remember uh, many years ago, before I moved away from um, the greatest country in the world, where you literally a cardiac cripple, you can't walk because you don't have the energy to walk. So we found out that there was a place in Mexico. So you went down to Mexico. They put it, they did a cardiac catheterization. They put it up through his coronary artery right into his heart and it restored it. I think we got his, his I mean, his ejection fraction. In other words, the amount of blood being injected from the heart was like 15%. Not enough, not enough. Went back up to like, um, I don't know, 50, 60. It was amazing. 